The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this uh, Tuesday. Uh, this is uh, the 29th of uh, March. We're looking at, if you're looking at the short-term uh, trading vehicles, we're looking at the E-mini. The June E-mini made a peak E-top in the one-minute chart. Uh, just after the open, uh, we hit uh, 46, uh, what was that, 23, yep, 23 round number. Trading right now at 45.95. There's that dreaded H underneath the 200 period moving average in the one minute chart. Two minute chart was a peak D. Five minute chart was a peak E. And I haven't yet put the down arrow because I have to wait for this bar to complete <clears throat> on the 10 minute chart at a peak D. So buying, you know, buying the rumors, selling the news. This is still rumor as far as I'm concerned. You want to, you want to, um, you want to believe anything that Putin says. Remember, when he waves his hand to the right, you got to move to the left. When he moves to the left, you got to move to the right. Parry. That's what you got to be doing all the time. So I would not be believing one word about whatever he's saying. Uh, he, there's a strategy there that you know has been absolutely asymmetric to what's been spoken and what's been believed by the West. Um, I, I, how we can fall for it over and over and over. I'm not sure, but anyway, that's the story as far as I'm concerned. This is a leg. This is a very important moment in the Chapman Wave methodology. In the, uh, let me go through this one at a time. Let's look at these charts. On the left is the daily Dow. In the middle is the weekly Dow chart. On the monthly chart, right side, we've got a peak E, and we've pulled back for two bars. Now, what's really important is that in the Chapman Wave methodology from an identifiable low bar, if you get an upgrade of each peak and you go from a buy signal to a buy mode, the implication is that you should get at least at least four higher peaks. Peak A is a, a peak A is the first, peak B is the second, a higher peak is C, and then a higher peak after that is D. We're in leg D. A leg stays that way. This is a floating ladder. This D stays there as long as we're making higher highs. The moment we make a lower high, in this case, the Dow today made a high of 35,372. I suspect that some of the gap will be filled. Will it all be filled? Well, the MACD is strong. The stochastic's great at 93%. On balance volume is getting to be a tad high, but it's not overbought yet. Uh, the 9 is still way above the 14. The price is way above the 200. The 14 is just about to cross the, um, the 200 period moving average. All of these are positives. So the day is young. And what we're looking at is we've got a strong gray leg A, gray, because the MACD hasn't crossed positive. Stochastic's still very weak at 43%. On balance volume did make a nice V-shaped turnaround. And the price did move commensurate with that, but the nine hasn't moved. The pink nine hasn't moved above the 14 period moving average. Uh, so this is still early in the stages. And the weekly chart usually takes the longest to repair any damage. If you look at the monthly chart, it actually sometimes looks even better than the weekly and the daily looks great. So the week is the one that you wait and wait. And eventually when you get a buy signal going to a buy mode in a weekly chart, that's fantastic. We haven't even got the buy signal yet. Um, I have to, it's a weekly chart. You have to wait for Friday. In this particular instance, look at that monthly chart. Well, the monthly is young. We'll see. I mean, I always say it's young up until 4 o'clock on the, on the day that the bar closes for that month. So we have to go to Thursday at 4. Look at the S&P monthly chart. Monthly chart, this is absolutely ideal. This is exactly what, oh, if today was Thursday, I'd say this is fantastic, even though the day is young and anything can happen. Um, but it's not. We've still got almost three days to go. Today, tomorrow, and the next day. Anything can happen. We've seen markets go from sell mode in the monthly chart on the last day or two to a screaming move up that changes it to a buy signal, a monthly. So let's just see what happens. You're almost at the low of the day after the gap up, 4602.86 on the SV gap up. 
goes a little high, a lot, quite a bit high to 46.27.63. We're trading right now at 4,600. <laughs> We're going to be watching this very closely. It is leg D. D is where other things can happen. The objective in the Chapman Wave methodology is to get from a buy signal to a buy mode. Um, and then at D, other things can happen. That's where you can get a sharp pullback. That's where you can recycle to a brand new uh, instant Chapman Wave instant restart for another four peaks higher. It can go so anything can happen at D. Um, and if you're looking at just quickly, uh, going back to the Dow, I just wanted to show you one other thing, is that the starting point two weeks ago, prior to the market opening, we went long the Dow. We were still long a core position way back from almost the lows of 2020. That's not the point. Point is we've traded long and short, long and short. We were added to the long position, and we've taken two little bits off. We took one little bit off after just the first sharp move up as money management and then because we're always at leg d want to be a little careful took a tad off yesterday um and what we're really looking at now is how does it hold you've got tremendous support between 34,500 and 34,400 where the 200 period moving average is um what happens i mean what happens if all of a sudden this doesn't turn out to be uh, the panacea that everyone thought would, would, would occur uh, with with uh, Ukraine being split and divided and everything, um, with um, Mariupol uh, evidently falling to the Russians and falling, what, 90 percent of the city is in an absolutely war-torn area? I mean, this is tragic. So what we're looking at is there's no easy solution either way. So I, I mean, if you listen to Tommy O'Brien, Tommy does the show from nine o'clock. He kicks us off here at, uh, he's got the market kickoff here at TFNN. Great program all day long. Starts off with Tommy with his market kickoff. And he was talking about this as you, you've, there are a lot of worries out there and there are a lot of positives. And you just got to make a kind of, um, you've got to assimilate what's going on and you've got to make specific um not decisions, but double decisions. In other words, you have to make a decision with a caveat to say, hmm, but maybe that's not going to work out, but at least we want this position. And then you're going to make another decision and say, oh, this is so bad. And then you look around and you say, wait a minute, CTS? CTS is Syntas overalls, um, uniforms, rentals, going from a low under 360 to 427, I mean, that's an incredible move. And that's the, the economy. This is how we, They don't make decisions in the rental business uh, for overalls and uniforms on the spur of the moment. That's to do with uh, many, many, uh, it isn't just restaurants, et cetera, and entertainment. It's to do with many areas of the economy. So this is a good sign. So there are good signs. Now, okay, let's get back to our story. We're going to the QQQ. NDX 100 at the low of the day, 366.40 up 1.50, and it made a new recovery high of 370.72. This is only leg B. Technically, this is a buy mode because the MACD good stochastics at 96%. That's fabulous. It's way over the 9 and 14 moving averages. It's also way over the 200 moving average. This should take us to higher highs over the period of the. Right back down to 100%. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Just to mention it again, I'm not sure this is even pertaining to what I had seen earlier on in Investors Business Daily. They had mentioned love. I thought love, L-U-V is the headline, uh, but L-O-V-E is the love sack company, modern furniture store. And what do they say? It says, um, uh, let's see, very useful informative chart, in my view, specific to love canary in the retail coal mine. Got a hot business calls. We'll try to be back for Steve Zipolo and Tom. Sorry, I'm missing your show today, Basil. Good luck, everyone. Who is this? Oh, this is Jimmy. Um, yeah, so that's a retail store. So I just checked what it does. They do, they sell modern furniture. Look at that gap to the upside. It's up 28%, at 13, up 132 at 60.54. And this is an IPO back in uh, 2018, summer of 2018. At that point, it had a high of about 47. Drops down to, I don't know what it dropped down to. Uh, I should know, right? Let's see what it goes down to, eight or nine? Four, 4, 4.04 back in March, the March uh, 2020 low, screens up to a high of 96, 95.51 in June of 2021, plummets down to the 35 area, and today it's almost doubled. They had a high today of 63. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that there are areas and this is really what we try for subscribers. We've been trying to do that. Now, there's one area that we had a fantastic run on, and today it's taking a dive. And of course, it's to do with the commodities. Uh, well, two of them. One is the deer, which we've been long uh, since about the 14th of March. I think we got around about um, 387. It screamed up to 437.98. We've taken two little bits off, took one right at the opening yesterday, almost at the exact high, and now it's dropped sharply. Now, the big thing about this is, I would said, it's in the area of the agricultural area, and it's really important to yeah, tractors, farm equipment, etc. But one of the things I said I am rather nervous about is that if this big rectangle that it's been in looks like the IWM chart that was going sideways between a certain trading band for a long period of time. This goes back to May of 2021 at 400.34. And a couple of weeks later, in June, drops down to 321.90. Let me just type that in here, 321.90. Um, and then it goes sideways between this trading band, goes to PD. Remember Chapman Way PD, 393 round number high, 
week of the 3rd of September, pulls back again to that 320 area. Then it goes peak A, B, C, D, E, and pulls back sharply, doesn't take out the left side low, and then screams above the, the 400 resistance and goes in a single leg all the way up to what I'm calling a peak F or a leg F at this point. And my concern was that when Deer suddenly pulls back for whatever reason, could be the commodity related, it doesn't matter what it is. If it pulls back, could it pull back so sharply that it goes back into the rectangle? Keep your eye on this picture in the middle right here. Here we go. What is that at a peak D? Well, the IW went from the 234 high of 90, week of the 19th of March 2021 down to the 207 level just uh, uh, two weeks, uh, one week later. And then it's stuck in that range for a long time until it finally made that peak D at a high of 240, I forgot, I wrote it down, 244.46. Let me put that in right now. Uh, 244.46. And then what did it do? It plummeted down into the rectangle, the long side, remember, narrow, long sideways rectangle can last a lot longer than your patients. Chances are if it's at highs, it breaks to the upside, and then it comes back in. You've got to be careful that it doesn't break to the downside because it could do a propeller shaft one to one to the downside. What it did, it went down to the 187 level around about uh, 22nd or so of Feb, and then it ran up, and it's coming back. So I'm saying, okay, I'm going to have to make some decisions about deer. Could, be, could, could it be not just a, a momentary move, but could it be something more serious? We'll see. What's Caterpillar doing? Caterpillar, we don't have Caterpillar. Caterpillar, you see, was fading. It didn't have as good a, uh, uh, a chart pattern as deer. So we're going to have, have to watch that one very closely. Now, a couple of things that I'm looking at here. I, I didn't finish all the what I wanted to do and the questions I had. So let's just go to this. Um, so when I'm looking at all of these, I've got the IWM right now up and leg D is getting closer and closer to the 200 period exponential moving average of 211.66, made a high today of 210.46. In leg D, these Ds are where you've got to be a little careful uh, all the way around. QQQ was only in a B. And that says there's residual strength in the QQQs and there's a chance that they will make a peak C and a peak D over the coming week or two We'll be watching that one closely. Okay, let's go to gold. Gold is still down sharply. It's down 28. It's come back a little bit from the low of the day, which was at 1893. We're at 1916. So it's gone in the Chapman Wave methodology of the dreaded H pattern. What does that mean? What does that mean? Let's go there. Uh, move that away. Yeah, so we have three patterns that I'm always looking at in the Chapman Wave methodology. One is straight up and straight down. That's one. Up and down, straight line. Cup formation, arch formation, and it's a red when it's an arch formation because when it comes down, it looks like a lowercase h takes out the left side low. Be careful because if it does that and within two or three sessions, usually I say two, but it can be three, it doesn't close above the left side low. That's a big problem because if it goes deeper than that, it can go one to one to the downside. And on this side, yeah, you've got... Um, straight line up and a cup formation if it takes out the left side high it can go quite a bit higher all right so what we're looking at is we've gone to a leg b to the downside and the low of the 14th i think it was 16th 16th of march at 1900.1 in the continuous contract was taken out today but now we're sharply above it in 1917 that means that there's a chance that this pattern could become a lowercase h that can go to a lowercase m because the geopolitical aspect, remember I talk about gold very often as being a geopolitical icon of fear. And if that's the case, then what we're looking at is maybe it holds fairly steady and it goes into an h that turns into a lowercase m pattern. All right. If you look at the weekly chart, it's gone straight up to 2078.80 on the 8th of March, comes straight down. Does it form the Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down pattern? I don't know. I think it's still kind of in play. And to put it, look at the weekly, monthly chart, this double top 
and it also had resistance. We're going to be watching this very closely. If you're looking at, let me just do silver quickly because I know a lot of people own silver. Oops, I typed that in the wrong place. Right there. All right, here comes silver. Hey ho, silver. We're looking at SI. It made a much lower low, even below the 200 period moving average in leg C to the downside. Um, it's just a little bit above that left side low. I think silver looks a little bit more precarious than gold. So that 24.24 that .24 level of 200 moving average, that's going to be really important to monitor. Let's go to crude oil quickly before the break. Get there. Uh, and don't forget, folks, you've got uh, Discord for a dollar. You can be part of the gym. This is a fantastic medium. We've got an HBAT in uh, crude oil down 385. This looks to me like uh, it's it's great digest a huge gain. And then we want to talk about TLT when I get back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ADC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. And just before we do anything else, I had a question in at the Tiger Den. Hi, Basil. Would you consider ABTV in the overbought area? I'm waiting for a pullback to buy uh, 170 June calls. So ABBV is a symbol trading up 38 cents at 162.33. Uh, ABBV uh, is called ABV, is a research-based biopharmaceutical company spun off of Abbott Labs in 2013. The company has had a successful start in its first five years in the industry. Its blockbuster uh, drug, Humira, 
uh, brought in billions. Uh, I don't know, this is probably a little advertising thing there. Anyway, so this is a pattern that we see every once in a while. Whenever I look at a pattern like this, I go back to decades ago um, to I'm I'm almost certain that it was Merck. One day I should go back and check it out. Where the price just kept going higher and higher and higher, and every pullback was met with buying. I called it, it's like a worm creeping up the, the a branch of a tree. It just, just keeps chugging along, no problems, any pullback, and it just it gets its footing immediately, and it goes right back again. Um, what's really important about this particular pattern, I'm just drawing a, a channel and make it a little higher, take it from there, um, is that now, I don't like to mess, make charts a little messy, but I'm going to expand this and I'll talk about it because it's so important. Well, the answer, first of all, is this particular pattern suggests that the buying since the February, since the January low of 2022 has just been so consistent that it's created and I, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of it after a little while. But I'm going to just do this to show you how important. I've worked on channels uh, since I had engineering paper, a, a ruler, and a pencil. And I used to uh, take these cheap pieces of paper, and I would draw the, all these different charts. And for me, it was really important that I learned about the synchronicity of price moving in a certain manner within a tube and if it's up or down or sideways it doesn't matter it can it gets to the upper part of it and then it gets repelled it gets to the lower part of it and it gets propelled funnily enough you don't need all these lines look i've got the green nine period moving average right there and the 14 period those are support levels but i just wanted to show um, some some technique that uh, you know we're all about education here so let me just do this I'm going to add maybe you don't have the software to do it but you do have to you do have everybody has the software to do parallel lines so in this particular instance I'm drawing what I call the chat wave inside track in this case a repellent zone and I put it in here I'm making them thick just for the moment just so you can see the beauty of channel lines and as i say i mean going back to the 1980s maybe even earlier um i, I was drawing lines when we finally got to computers around about 1985 and a little a little mac and i was able to do some stuff um it was great so now what we're looking at is it stayed within this channel forever and you would be presupposing something that isn't there if you said uh oh I want to short this. I want to. Uh, I, it's going to pull back sharp. You don't know. The MACD is fantastic. The rule of thumb is: look, the stochastic since it broke above the, the 80 period exponential, uh, the 80 percent uh, moving average, back on the first of February, stayed there and only went negative right there, and that was the 9th of uh, March. So I always say that the, all the rule books, you can just check it out. Rule books always say the, the stochastic is overbought when it's over 80% and it is oversold when it's under 20. And I say those are the, exactly the wrong words. It is in a buy mode as long as it's holding over 80% and it's in a sell mode as long as it's holding under 20%. That's the clarification you need. So what happened is it dipped underneath and then it flipped back to positive in the stochastic and it's now at 94 percent so so to the questioner i'm just going to say i love this action i do it have in a, in a leg e it could even be a chapter wave instant restart there was one right there peak d within three bars it, it was actually two bars it went to a new high so you have an alternate count a snail i'll make it a little higher so you can see a and then b then you got c and d and here again, you could call it an instant restart, but you don't usually get two instant restarts in a row. You can, but it's not that, that usual. 
So what's the answer to the question? Well, that's the weekly chart, spectacular. The, the, sorry, that's the daily chart, spectacular. The weekly chart says, look at this straight line. This is just uncanny. Look at that. Uh, and that goes back to October of last year, where it's been in this beautiful up channel, but it has tackled the resistance areas enough times for me to say, I'm making it green, and I'm making it a little thicker, to say it hasn't been able to break above. So this is the first time it's gotten to an area where for four weeks, it's, it's nudging up against this trend line. And that's just saying, watch the MACD. MACD is beautiful. Histograms, in fact, increasing. But the week is young, so we can't talk about this candle this week. But so far, it's acting well. Stochastic is absolutely fantastic at 97.34. You'd never get 100%. So up here is incredible. On balance volume says, oops, be a little careful. You get into the point where you could have some kind of sideways or a bit of a pullback. And the monthly chart is unbelievable. What a st st extension from the 107 area to 162, all in the single leg E to the upside. Well, leg E to the upside. MACD is good. So nothing here is negative. It would take something that is either a legislative thing or, or they've made a big mistake for it to really tank and break under 155, which would take it underneath the Chapman Wave inside track up channel propellant zone so it's a good question and i like the fact that you said where will it correct so that you can um so that you can on a pullback by the 170 june calls so the only way i can look at it right now is to say you might have to stair step into the calls and i like the fact you're going all the way out to june i like that what i'm going to suggest to you is It'll be expensive. It is out of the money, but it'll be expensive in the ratio of the premium that's there based on optimism because it's made a new recovery high. I wonder if this is an all-time high. I've, I've followed this for years. I used to have it all notated. I don't know why it isn't. Yes, I've followed it for years. And then it had this whopper of a pullback when it made a high of um, 125.86 in January of 2018, and eventually went down all the way to the 62s. I mean, let's let's face it, cut in half, more than cut in half. So, Abvi, I like it very much. It is getting to a level that says, if there is a sharp pullback, it should either be really sudden, or just be a process that takes it down over a period of three weeks, and that should start this coming Monday. It should be under 158.50. Let's go to 158. And then you'll be looking at something that says, ah, now it's vulnerable. And I'll explain what I would do if you're looking to buy cards. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 187 S&P. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman. We're looking at uh, CX. Yes. Okay. So what we're looking at is in Abvi. So what I'm going to recommend now is you've got, I'd prob probably say definitely two ways of doing this, but there are three ways. And one is ABBV, Abvi. Uh, which was a spin-off of uh, Abbott Labs and someone in, in the Tiger YouTube. Folks, really, the information that's just pouring out in uh, what we call the den is just tremendous. And you can just go to the front page of TFNN for a dollar. You can sign up. You don't even have to be there. You don't have to do anything. In fact, you can just use it for information whenever you feel like. But it is just a terrific resource. And in our Tiger YouTube, we've got um, Allegan, uh, now owned by Abvi makes the newly approved drops. I don't know which drops they are. Uh, I believe Avi has things. So that is Pat, yes. Uh, prescription, okay. Yeah, so I, I like it very much. And all I can say is that I would look out and maybe you could start, just even if it's one call position right here at 162.20, why? Because at some point, at the, the way it's it's acting right now, there should be a, a test of the 164 to 165 level. I would, if I had to do it on time and a pullback, I'd say by Monday or Tuesday of next week. No, I'd say, I would say Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. There should be at least an attempt to get to the 163. Uh, 164.50 level and the moment it touches that then the round number 165 will be in play so it might be a little embarrassing you might get the call and then all of a sudden you've got a nice profit in it not the profit you really want but you've got a bit of a profit in it what do you do and then the darn thing starts to slide so i would say even here at 162.20 even though it could pull back to the 158 if you're looking all the way to june i would stage it I'd have maybe one here, one set, and then I'd wait, and I'd have a, at the, the nine period exponential moving average of 159. To me, that's, I'd prefer under 159, uh, 158, and then I'd just have some crazy thing saying, you know what, if it does go down to the 157 level, which is gonna be so critical as it goes under that, it's broken this beautiful up channel that has been in for a long time, but everything technically is still positive, um, that's where you want to add something else. So I would stage it. That's number one. Number two, num first, first way of looking at it. Number two is just do nothing and say, you know what? I've got patience, and you do. I know you do have patience. Just wait for 158 to 157, and that's where you start your position. Or the third, the third aspect is to have to have yourself already. At a particular price of the 170 that you're looking at, sometimes I do that. And if I'm if I if I'm really wanting it, I just say, you know what, a half a point, uh, 50 cents, 
or 35 cents, I'm going to do nothing. But if I can get this at 35 cents for a 170 call, when it's one of the great, in this environment, look what it's doing. It's a showcase and a showstopper for everything going right. That's another way to do it. All right, so those are the three ways. Now, a couple of other questions I wrote down here. Uh, okay, Vertex. So the reason why I'm interested in looking at um, the love, L-O-V-E, is that in Investor Business Today, today just popped up. I didn't do anything with it, but I just saw love, the, the love, whatever it was, company, that furniture company. Another one that just, where did I type that? Oh, wrong place. Typed into the den. I wanted to type it right here. VRTX. VRTX came up. Um, Vertex Pharmaceuticals. I've followed this for years. We've never owned it. I, I know we have a couple of subscribers that every once in a while say we have it. What and I give parameters. This is a peak F slash B. Didn't potential instant restart here. It's gone from the 225 area to where it is right now at two uh, 253. Uh, VRTX. And um, it's in LA E in the weekly. And here it's uh, stochastic's 90%. Magdi's sorry, stochastic is at 90% and flat. Uh, on balance volume is just a tad overbought. Magdi's good, not great, but good. Weekly chart, Magdi's really good. Uh, the stochastic is at 83%, and the monthly chart is a single leg, a hey, fabulous move. You can expect some kind of digestive phase. So um, the question came in about Vertex a couple of days ago. I think I forgot to do it. I've got it here, and I'm just going to say have patience. I think at 253, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes a little bit sideways, and this red candle, candle of the, is that the 40, uh, 23rd of March, that has a high of 252 and a low of 247, I think we're going to get into that candle and then you have to reassess. But I would not, if you're long, I would, only thing I do, because you asked me for it and you've done well, I take a little bit off as part of your money management. Uh, next question I had was, uh, Vertex, Vertex. Uh, oh, and Duffy says, ABBV is one of the best dividend stocks, 3.48 percent now yeah another question came in could i show fcx says freeport mcmorrin i i've got this as a potential peak f in the daily a leg e in the weekly and a leg c so that's still very positive in the monthly chart i think this i think copper if you look at copper oh, i never did copper today copper is just holding steady it's not really breaking up or breaking down it's just steady at 4.73 i think it's acting quite well scco is another one and you can see they're all doing the same thing. There was a peak uh, back around the 12th or so of uh, March where they pulled back sharply and then they ran to higher highs. Look, FCX did the same thing. I'm giving it an alternate count here of F slash B. The reason why I think it's worth continuing the wave count is that the the MACD is just dipping a little bit. It's still good. Stochastic's at 89% and flattening out, but good. And the weekly chart has good technicals. I'm not going to fight the technicals, the lines over the 14, but if uh, Freeport McMurrin, McMurrin at 49.23 down 103, FCX is a symbol, actually closes under 46.50. It says copper is going to be in for a little bit more of a digestive phase. It doesn't have to break down. So that's what I'm suggesting there. Um, question about, uh, let's see. Question about, <laughs> I wrote it down, where did I put it? Oh, could I go through some of those, um, uh, the DBA. So the DBA is what we've been along for uh, just forever. And one of the reasons is I've said for a long time that I think that the, this is way before uh, Ukraine. Uh, we even knew Ukraine was the breadbasket of Europe, at least I didn't know. Um, we've been along forever. And I looked at it as part of part of the whole commodity uh, area and sector that said to me, there's a good chance we're going to have a little bit, quite a bit of inflation, and that's the area that it will be coming from. Um, and what I am looking at here is that you've got your dreaded H pattern within the rectangle formation. It, it's we've been long since 13.77. It hit 22.64.
uh, beginning of March. Now it's just been in this 21 to 22 and a half area consolidating. I think it could consolidate a bit more just as we're going to this break. Let me show you. Wheat made a beautiful spike to the upside with the Chapel Roman candle, and now it's hitting the 50 period moving average. It's pulling back. Soybean, same thing. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, uh, folks. This last little segment here, I had a question about, uh, I like to go to the uh, the. Uh, all the questioners first before we go on to anything else. Mosaic Company, uh, Basil, would you please look at MOS? I have it as a long-term holding. You know, as a long-term holding, I think that's fine. Mosaic uh, phosphates, uh, potash, fertilizers. Look at this chart from uh, 2011, February, 89.74 peak D in the Chapman wave. Plummets all the way down to $6.50 March of 2020. And then using this the lopsided gravy cup pattern, the cup formation with uh, with a long slope to the downside, then quick upside to a leg D. It went to about 71.30. 74.31 was my left side, right side price time match going to to march and there's the chapman wave inside wedge target resistance line it just missed getting there um but my target is really 89.74 looking out in 2022 but in the meantime on the short term it's got the same chart as everyone else that we were looking at that's the cop that's uh, fcx freeport mcmurray made a peak f slash c right here digesting gains so i think it, it just be prepared that it could digest. And if you're looking at so many of the others, um, IPI, 
That's um, Intrepid Potash, made a PG. It could be an alternate count. We'll see if it's able to break into a new uh, recovery high. But this is a time you would expect some kind of um, digestive pattern, veil, valet. Valet is the same thing. This is an iron ore pellets, also stalling over there. So if you're looking at S, which is soybeans, see the ch the pattern, the, the, the rectangle formation that says in the, the wide rectangle, not the narrow, that you can go in a sideways move going up, stair-step way to a peak A, B, C, just under, right on, or just above the previous side, then pull back. Look what soybeans have done. At that peak E, it went to a peak D underneath the previous side, now digested gains. Day is young. I happen to think that there's a lot of buying pressure still here, regardless of the, the proof you baloney. Uh, but what we are looking at here is that while the market is like fish oil, this is going to help the market at least stabilize. I like